Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I am a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's travel day! Today we're going to talk about what is Guatemala like? What is Guatemala like? It's a fascinating country in Central America. First, let's go over a little geography. Uh, first, uh, what is the country Guatemala? It's actually pronounced, uh, I'll, I'll do my best Spanish here, Guatemala. Uh, the, the Spanish down there in the language, they don't really say a hard G like we do in English, Guatemala. Instead, they say Guatemala. And that's about as close as I'm gonna get to the Spanish English rendition because I'm a total gringo. <laughs> My Spanish is terrible. About all I can do is, where's the bathroom? Donde está el baño? Uh, Tienes el tacos? Or necesito tacos? No quiero. Oh, quiero, quiero, no, quiero, quiero tacos. <laughs> uh, quiero burritos, so I want some burritos, I want some tacos, what else? Um, uh, and then, I don't know, I, I usually come up with some bad Spanish and people stumble through it and they're like, oh my gosh, would you just speak English? Your Spanish is terrible. So that happens to me when I'm traveling Central and South America. I work on my Spanish a little bit, but you know, I, I'm making videos, I'm writing books, I'm going out and speaking to companies. I'm not Thomas Edison, I cannot, or have not, cannot, no. I have not put the effort into trying learning Spanish in three months like he did. Check this out. Just as a little aside, he had to sail to Europe and he went to Spain and I was like, man, I don't know Spanish, but I got to negotiate with these Spaniards. I need to learn Spanish. He was such a brainiac. I'm pretty smart. I've got a couple degrees, but I am not Thomas Jefferson. Did I say Thomas Edison? No, Thomas Jefferson. From sailing from America to getting to Spain, he brought a bunch of textbooks or whatever. He taught himself how to speak Spanish excellently. That is a great Thomas Jefferson, the third president of America? Second, second, Corin. Oh man, I, I get to look at these things before I think about and put them on my channel. So anyway, yes. <laughs> Jeez, that's embarrassing. But Thomas Jefferson learned Spanish. Now did he go to Guatemala? No, because Guatemala didn't exist. But you can go to Guatemala today. Now, the, the whole idea of this little episode is, what is Guatemala like? I'll use Guatemala because my Spanish is annoying. Guatemala is an incredible country, uh, full of jungles, beautiful beaches. I mean, it's like the quintessential American, no, a uh, Central American experience but not nearly as expensive as Costa Rica or Belize. Uh, Costa Rica and Belize have gotten really expensive. Why is that? Because all the Americans are going to Costa Rica and not as many to Belize. And yeah, every time we go somewhere as Americans, we like make the price higher. I, because, hey, uh, the, the people in Costa Rica are like, hey, those gringos have money. Let's raise the price and they keep paying. I wonder how high we can raise the price. I don't know, let's find out. That hasn't happened in Guatemala. Why? Well, here's the thing. Guatemala is actually a fairly dangerous country to travel in. I mean, it's beautiful, it's neat, the, the people are incredibly nice and courteous, but at least near Guatemala City and uh, Antigua and, and quite a few other locations, it's a pretty dangerous place. Um, just to give you an idea, when I was flying down there, I had my Lonely Planet book. I, I, I don't know where it is. It's probably my parents, uh, whatever. I, I wish I had it here so I could show a picture. I don't know, I'll put a picture behind me of my Guatemala travels. Yes, I have been to Guatemala, so I can speak with authority and experience that I've been there, I'm not just making stuff up. I, the, the things that I speak about are legit. I've used them, I've been there. I know what I'm talking about. Am I an absolute expert that spent a year there and can write a guidebook? No, but have I been there long enough and spent enough time there to give you the gist of what Guatemala is like? Yes, Guatemala is dangerous. Just case in point, my dad is doing videos or he's done a couple videos 
on the, the migrant caravan from Guatemala and Honduras. And they're trying to ditch out of their country to get to America for better opportunity. All politics aside, I understand why they're trying to come here. It's just that I think they got suckered into coming to America because they think, oh, they'll just let me in. Uh, I have gangs in my neighborhood and my boyfriend beats me or whatever, and I can get asylum. It doesn't work that way. So that when, when you go to Guatemala and you arrive at the airport, virtually everyone, everyone gets on a bus or gets a taxi or does something to get to the city of Antigua to start their touristic experience of Guatemala. Why is that? Because there aren't a lot of touristic sites in Guatemala City, the capital of Guatemala, go figure. I mean, there are some, but there aren't a lot. And so when you get in Guatemala City, immediately get out of the airport you, you got to start finding somebody to take you to where you want to go uh the, the guidebook warned me about them and th there's a thing called the chicken buses they're basically converted school buses that uh, go along and they, they're all painted crazy and they're called chicken buses because yeah people have their chickens in cages in these buses and so, yeah, they go along, but the tourists are warned in the guidebooks and everything, these buses are not for you. Why is that? Because they're dangerous. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's kind of like Peru and Honduras. You stand out. Everybody knows you don't belong there. Like, I'm, I'm six feet. Everybody in Guatemala was like, oh, about five feet. Man, I'm like a freaking, I, I don't know, Andre the Giant? No, I'm not that big. Uh, oh yeah, like Mark Eaton, seven foot four. The guy's huge. I stand out in Guatemala, and I was warned about the chicken bus. I was like, "Yeah, what's a big deal?" Whew. As I was on in my taxi driving up to Antigua, there was a chicken bus, a converted school bus, on the side of the road, and there was something lying under a yellow tarp with a couple of police around it. What do you think might be under the yellow tarp? That's right, a body. So immediately in the, like, the first 15 minutes of Guatemala, I'm like, whoa, okay, this is legit. Now, the, the, the woman I was with traveling, she's blonde. A little bit shorter, well, actually a lot bit shorter than me, blonde. We come out of the airport, and the nice thing is until you get through the customs and the main door, whatever, nobody can come in so you don't get mobbed in your face. We come out and this blonde's hair, and everybody's like, Look, there's one of those. I told you. If you're blonde, you're gonna stick out. Going to stick out in Guatemala. It's gonna happen. Now, my hair is black, a little bit of white now, but oh well. Yeah, I'm still alive to have it go white. Yes. If you're blonde, you're really gonna stick out in Guatemala. So, just just be prepared for it. People don't totally oogle you like they do in China, like when I went there. Woo. But yeah, Guatemala, you are going to stand out. People notice you. Uh, immediately, as soon as you get to Antigua and you get yourself out of Guatemala City. Uh, by the way, there are packages in Guatemala City called the Adoption Package. Apparently, I don't know, Angelina Jolie or whoever the heck went down there enough and uh, <clears throat> bought, uh, adopted enough kids and whoever else goes down there that families and parents who can't have children or for whatever reason they go to Guatemala and they adopt children from there and that is so popular that the high-end hotels and even the mid-end hotels have the adoption package it's crazy so you get out of Guatemala City and you head for Antigua and then you get there and it's like wow this is like this cool classic Central American experience and immediately you get out your camera, tick, 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 tick. Oh, dude. Oh, we're out walking, got the camera, shoot, shoot, shoot. A couple of people look at you and then eh, whatever, shoot, shoot, shoot. Walk into the hotel, walk up, just holding the camera. Let's see, where's my camera? I don't know, whatever. And the lady behind the counter starts yelling at us in English, punch your camera away. Put it away, you're going to get robbed. Not kinda robbed. Not maybe robbed. Like, hey, some people might come up to you, 
going to get robbed, okay? So now I'm painting Guatemala in kind of a dark light, hang on. Because when you go there, you gotta be safety conscious because look at it this way. The, the, the people there are pretty dang poor. A lot of people live on the side of the highway in a corrugated steel shack, maybe with a roof. If you're lucky, you have cinder blocks. You have pineapples that you try and sell on the side of the road to feed your family. It's pretty poor. I walk there being able to afford a fly. Now I've got a backpack and I've got a watch and things. I'm like Bill Gates to them. And you know, you're walking by and the thoughts, you know, what if I rob him and take his money? And it happened to people I met. I met this couple and said, yeah, these two kids ran across the street, burnished a gun in my husband's face, punched him in the face and took our wallets and then ran off. Be mindful if somebody's walking towards you, just like beelining for you, you've got seconds to decide what you're going to do because something's probably going to go very wrong. Okay, so just huge spectrum of potential dangers. That said, the positive of Guatemala is it is spectacular. The jungles are incredible. Uh, going to Antigua and touring around and going up to a volcano, seeing a live volcano explode at night. It looked like something out of Jurassic World Recovered Park or whatever. <laughs> totally cool. Getting next to a lava flow, watching those rocks go. Uh, I mean, that was so cool. And by the way, when you go to Tikal, do you remember Star Wars A New Hope, the first Star Wars that didn't kind of stink? Yeah. In the jungle scene at the end of the movie, where the guy's with his pole defending the realm with his binoculars because you're going to defend against TIE fighters and Star Destroyers with a stick? Yeah, right. That was filmed in Tikal, Guatemala. Cool. Yeah. So Guatemala is definitely neat and unique for that. I mean, the, the tourist experience and everything, spectacular. You have also the chance to go down to Honduras. I went to Copanas uh, Ruinas in, uh, I can't remember the city in Honduras. Uh, even more dangerous, got stuck on the border. This is like this whole dramatic scene. But it was like romancing the stone, riding in this little tuk-tuk. So Guatemala has the opportunity for lots of things to do. Don't recommend driving there at all because on the opposing traffic on a two-lane road, people will do this and somebody will drive in the middle. And when people are driving in the middle, they'll, they'll dodge. You don't want to drive there. Hire a driver. It's cheap. If you get in a crash, they're going to take you to jail. Just like in India, you, you don't want to do it. Trust me, hire a driver. So the food opportunity in Guatemala, it's great, but it's always going to be Guatemalan food. So if you tire of that Central American thing with uh, cotija cheese, which is a very strong cheese that you put on like your rolled tacos and beans, it's on every dish and it's thick. And if you don't like that cheese, whoo, whoo, whoo. So that's the thing when you travel to Guatemala too. It's very cultural, but no, you're not going to find like anything but Guatemalan. I don't even know if I saw McDonald's there. It's the legit real deal. Can you get tons of great meals? Oh my gosh, it was so good. I got to watch a fireworks show from the, the top of my hotel. I mean, Guatemala is really a fascinating country, but be confident in your travel experience. Bring a, a, a money purse or a money neck belt or something. Uh, take a copy of your passport. So I, I really focused on the danger of this video and I don't want to make it seem like it's a horrible world, but it is a relatively dangerous country to travel in. Far lower than Afghanistan or Iraq or I don't know, wherever, or South Sudan. Oof, those, those are horrific. But Guatemala, should you go there? Lots of tourists go there. Just know, keep your wits about you. If you sense something might be wrong, you might only have seconds to deal with it. So just be conscious of that. I love my Guatemalan experience, seeing uh, cockatoos and toucans flying around and macaws. I mean, it was cool. So I, I thought it was a neat country. Just uh, definitely one of the more dangerous countries to travel in. Just be mindful of your money. Watch out for people, but Guatemala, what Guatemala is like, it's this spicy, surreal experience that you can't get in Mexico. I mean, it's the real deal. You'll have some challenges traveling around. Didn't almost get my bus across the country, all the usual, but it all worked out. I'm still alive.
So what is Guatemala like? It's like an, almost like a real Indiana Jones adventure. You just don't have the whip, but you might have the fedora. My name is Aaron Linstow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. And if you know somebody who needs a motivational speaker, please contact me at the links below and I'll be able to help you out and make your event a unique one. Thank you very much.